All right, let's go over all the details of how to get this free to play team Bardock unit that you see on screen and also the rest of the free to play team Bardock units. But before we do that, if you find this video informative and helpful, please consider hitting that red subscribe button for more content like this and also turning that thumbs up white and liking the video. It helps out a ton. Moving on, we'll start with the start tab, go to event and we will go to the story tab right here and it's actually the second event uh battle smart brawlers team bardock and today's unit that you can form is this str bardock unit and what i mean by today's unit is if we hit the information tab and scroll down you can see that each unit of team bardock can be formed on their specific days agl borgos can be formed sunday to monday tech Tora can be farmed Monday to Tuesday. Int Fasha, not Sasha, can be farmed Tuesday to Wednesday. STR Bardock can be farmed Wednesday to Thursday. And then Physical Shugesh can be farmed Thursday to friday so there you have it those are the days that can be farmed so that's actually each day at reset and if you're wondering where friday through sunday is friday through sunday is when all events are actually open but they're only open to specifically farm their hidden potential orbs specific to those units i'll go over that in more detail in a little bit but let's actually get into this str bardock stage right here go into it and see what What's up and go over all the details of how to farm this unit this bardock unit and also farm its hidden potential orb so as you can see on screen uh we have three different paths that we can choose from the far left one being small hidden potential orbs the middle one being medium hidden potential orb and then the far right one being large hidden potential orbs now keep in mind that since this is bardock's stage these hidden potential orbs are specific to only only this this Bardock can use them. No other unit can use them. And that's what I mean by specific orbs. There are specific orbs for Borgos, specific orbs for Fasha, and so forth for the rest of the team Bardock units. Right now, down at the bottom, I have 2 1 1, right? So you want to use up the twos as much as possible. And keep in mind that you are only going to get twos and ones. So you want to use a larger number, two. So we use two. And now we have all one. The reason why you want to use twos is because you want to use the twos to actually get your to the spaces or the path that you want to farm because you want to use those ones to get as many of these spaces as possible so that you can get the maximum amount of hidden potential orbs you are farming in that run at the end of the run so now we'll use the ones so let's see what we end up with one i'm gonna go ahead and hit the small hidden potential orb path here we'll do one we'll hit another one looks like we're getting ones oh we got a two so now we have two twos let's hit the one again to try to get this next space hoping we get another one there you go and now we got the whole path and we were able to farm as much of the hidden potential orbs as we could during this run so that's exactly what we want to happen obviously it's rng you're not always going to get that but you want to give yourself the best possible chance to get the maximum amount of potential orbs that you are farming in that run so now at this point you actually want to use up the twos as much as possible and keep as many ones as possible so we'll use up the twos there we go it looks like we're getting more twos oh we got two ones here at this point you do not want to go straight ahead to the star you actually want to go to the left where the flying nimbus the yellow flying nimbus is so we're going to hit the two and then it's going to let us choose which path we want to take so we're going to hit the left arrow here and now we got another two use that two do not use a one you Use that too to get on the flying nimbus i'm about to tell you why so send you over to this area right here and this is the reason why you want to use up the twos and keep your ones again because you have another opportunity to farm hidden potential orbs but this time you're actually able to get small medium and large the first three are small the second three are medium and the last three are large hidden potential orbs we'll do it as follows we'll try and hit every single space that we can we got a two that that's perfect because we just used all the ones that we had to get those first three we'll use a two to hop over to the next set of hidden potential orbs now we got two ones so we're able to get all the mediums now so we'll hop over here we still have a one so that gives us a really good opportunity to get all of the large hidden potential orbs so at this point we'll use a two and look at that rng is on our side and we are able to get all 
the hidden potential orbs on this path and keep in mind that on this path you actually get significantly more hidden potential orbs than you do on the first three paths and that you choose from at this point there's a stop sign you're gonna fight bardock this bardock unit since we are fighting bardock we have a chance at the str bardock unit to drop after we defeat this bardock but if you see the giant ape form of str bardock you will have a guaranteed drop for the str bardock unit so we're gonna go ahead and fight him and we'll see if we can get a drop there we go and then we'll clear the stage and see if we got a bardock unit from defeating the str bardock we didn't but those are these are all the hidden potential orbs that we farmed so that's how it worked it's very simple not that difficult and so we'll switch over to my PC real quick. As you're clearing these events, keep in mind that in order to get their Dokkan Awakening Meadows to Dokkan Awaken them from an SSR to a TUR, you are going to need to clear the event 15 times to get three of their medals and then clear their event 20 times. So five more times, totaling 20 times to get another three of their Dokkan Awakening Meadows. And that's the same for every unit, not just the Bardock. That's the same for every single unit but also keep in mind that you may have to farm it more time to get their hidden potential orb if you fall short on any of their small medium or large orbs in order to unlock their full hidden potential system and then moving on you will need to farm copies of each unit in order to raise their super attack from level 1 to level 10 and also unlock their hidden potential paths so you will need a total of 14 bardocks a total of 14 toras a total of 14 fashas a total of 14 borgos and a total of 14 shugeshes starting off with the bardock and we'll actually go to his hidden potential here so nine of those copies will be used for their super attack leveling from level one to level 10 while the other four copies will be used to unlock these big nodes right here in these big nodes you'll actually see a picture before it's unlocked of the unit that you need in order to unlock that path and anytime you need to unlock a hidden potential path you need the exact copy of the unit there's one two three and four different paths that you need to unlock for this bardock he seals super attacks and he also reduces damage received for his hidden potential build just go full crit honestly i would i would definitely recommend going full crit with his hidden potential build because he does get attack plus 18 percent per key sphere obtained now keep in mind he is a free to play unit he's not going to hit nearly as hard as summonable units but for a free to play unit sealing super attack and hitting as hard as he does is not bad and then as far as with this tech torah you will want to do as many additionals as possible in this hidden potential system so i have them at full 15 additionals and the reason why is because if you go to his kit here he raises attack and defense infinitely so that means he's going to continuously stack attack and defense on his super so having as many additionals as possible will give him the best possible chance to utilize that effect of stacking attack and defense infinitely and then for and sasha here i went dodge and a additionals with her because she is a good dodging unit she already has a high chance of evading enemies attack including super attack in your kit but i went ahead and gave her dodge just to give her that much more evasion i also went additionals because she lowers attack and defense of the enemy on her super attack and then for agl borgos he has a medium chance of stunning the enemy so you want definitely want to go full additional with him any unit with a utility that has a chance to stun i would say a medium to high chance to stun you want to go as many additionals as possible in his hidden potential build here i have 10 additional and four crit the max he had was 10 additional and then for the physical shugesh here he raises defense infinitely automatically you definitely want to do as many additionals as possible with him so that he obviously has the best chance possible to use utilize that effect in order to raise his defense as much as possible during longer events where he's going to be most useful my hidden potential spread is eight additional which is the max i could get with shugesh here and also seven crit where i only had choices between crit 
and dodge and now to probably the most interesting part of the video how to obtain the free to play lr team bardock unit as you saw at the beginning of the video so this guy right here this team bardock unit we'll switch over to my pc real quick here they are they are obtained via a mission reward after activating a hundred percent of all five team bardock members hidden potential systems another copy is obtained via mission reward after clearing any stage 50 times with all team bardock members team bardock included and then that's your second copy of this lr and then the third copy is obtained via mission reward after clearing awakened power a trial towards new horizons 30 times and if we switch back to my phone real quick go to start tab we'll go to event i'll show you what that event is right here so it's called team bardock's trial there's also ginyu forces trial i will do a separate video over this event this is how you receive exclusive skill orbs to attach to each unit in their hidden potential system skill orbs are another thing that needs to be discussed definitely separate from generally farming the free-to-play units for team bardock or the ginyu force now the kicker is for this lr team bardock unlike like the LR Ginyu Goku Ginyu Force, you can only obtain three copies. You can't obtain all five to rainbow this unit. But moving on, switching back to my phone here, if we go to their hidden potential system, my recommendation is just unlock their general hidden potential nodes. Don't do what I did and unlock, you know, the ones where you can actually choose which node between grit, dodge, and additionals. Don't choose those yet because this unit could possibly get their easy EZA sometime soon and you don't want to be sitting here wondering oh their EZA changed their kit up a bit maybe I want to change this additional to dodge oh I don't have any more copies of the characters because they only gave us enough to unlock all four hidden potential paths so I'm gonna have to use five dragon stones in order to change that to dodge because their kit doesn't go with additionals anymore my OCD is gonna kill me so I'm gonna go ahead and spend five precious dragon stones in order to change that to dodge that's gonna be the scenario right there but you don't want to do that so that would be my recommendation is when you get this unit do not unlock their hidden potential nodes where you get to choose which node it is between crit additionals and dot that's my advice to you guys so there you have it thanks for watching i appreciate y'all until next time bye y'all